Hello everyone, we hope this finds you well, in good spirit, and having a good day. Another message from GibraltarMessenger.net Why has Christ chosen Gibraltar? It's in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 7. The I Am did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because the I Am loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, has the I Am brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt? Know therefore that the I Am, thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keeps covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. And he repays them that hate or disobey him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hates or disobeys him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command you this day to do them. Christ has an important message regarding regulations. Don't be fooled by the use of the word regulation or rule instead of law or legislation because regulations and rules are, just like other forms of legislation, fraudulent and thus unlawful and null and void, ab inito, from the initiation slash beginning. The RGP are now using GBC TV viewpoint April 9th, 2020, and Mr. Wayne Tunbridge, who is wearing fancy dress, also known as a costume, and claiming to be a RGP superintendent to deceive you with their propaganda into thinking that the RGP have authority to stop you and arrest you and fine you, steal your money, for breaking their fraudulent regulations. They are using the word regulation because I have already explained that men cannot make laws, and their legislation is therefore not law, but is unlawful and thus null and void. Their regulations, just like other man-made rules, are legislation. Rules also come from the word ruler, who has no authority to make them up. The word regulation, like the word register, comes from the word reg or rex, meaning king or the crown and the king slash crown has absolutely no right to make regulations having sworn on the Holy Bible to maintain the laws of God to the utmost of their power. That law of God specifically prohibits the king slash crown from administering anything other than God's law that they are commanded in God's law to study and administer all the days of their life. Deuteronomy 17.14 when you are come unto the land which the I am, thy God, giveth you, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me, you shall in any wise set him king over you, whom the I am, thy God, shall choose. One from among your brothers shall you set king over you. You may not set a stranger, a Gentile, over you, which is not your brother. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt, slavery under man-made laws, to the end that he should multiply horses. For as much as the I Am has said unto you, you shall henceforth return no more that way. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that his heart turn not away, neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. And it shall be, when he sits upon the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write him a copy of this law in a book out of that which is before the priests, the Levites. And it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the I Am, his God, to keep all the words of this law and these statutes to do them that his heart be not lifted up above his brethren, and that he turn not aside from the commandment, to the right hand or to the left, to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Israel. So the RGP and government cannot make regulations to take away your God-given rights. They therefore have no right or authority to stop you and ask you where you are going, as it's none of their business, unless you have committed a crime by harming someone or their property. 
Christ.